Welcome to Follow the Reader. My name is Karen Leahy from the South Kingston Public Library. Follow the Reader is a mini video series in which I interview someone from our community about books, reading, and the library to share our thoughts. Today, I'm joined by Libby Monahan. Uh, good morning, Libby. How are you? I'm great. And Libby, you are a member of the Friends of the Library, correct? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about what the Friends do? The Friends um, raise money for the library. Um, it had been with book sales and now uh, it's the, the craft fair in September. And also there's an ongoing book sale at the library year round and to, uh, to support the library with regards to equipment and programs, adult and children's programming and things like that. Great, thank you so much for being involved. Uh, let's jump right into our interview questions. What are you reading right now? Right now I'm reading The Dressmakers of Auschwitz by Lucy Adlington. This came out uh, just last year and it's a true story of women who used their sewing skills to survive the Holocaust. Wow, and are you enjoying it? Yeah, um, it, it was, it's about 25 young inmates of the mm -hmm. Auschwitz concentration camp, mainly Jewish, were selected to design, cut, and sew fashions for Nazi women in a special workshop that they created on the premises. And they hoped it would spare them from the gas chambers. Uh, there's that old quote, those who do not learn history are doomed to repeat it. And especially with what's happening today in the world, I believe that we need to be reminded of these atrocities that can occur when things spin out of control. And as horrific as they are, these stories need to be remembered. Um, I, I kind of do it to honor the victims and uh, hopefully ensure that we don't repeat history. And it keeps me grateful for the wonderful life that I have. Right, yeah, definitely. And do you have a favorite book that you've read recently? Um, yeah, actually, um, this one just came out in February and it's called, oh, I don't know if you can see it, The Lobotomous Wife. Okay. The Lobotomous Wife by Samantha Green Woodruff. Uh, it's, it's fiction inspired by real life events about the rise in popularity of lobotomies in treating mentally ill patients during the first half of the 20th century and how the practice was abused and ultimately deemed barbaric. Wow. And oh, what did you like about the book? Well, I love historical fiction and mm -hmm. especially the ones that have a dual timeline. I learned about that phrase through book chats and things, you know, with the library. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but especially historical fiction, such as uh, the books by Mar Marie Benedict, mm -hmm. because for me, they bring history to life. And assuming that it's well researched, uh, it's, you know, that's what I would hope that it would be rather than just reading straight nonfiction. It, yeah. it just brings it alive for me in, in a different way. Yeah, that's great. Now, are you the type of person to use a real bookmark, a slip of paper? What type of bookmark person are you? Real. Oh, yay. I have a lot of bookmarks. Uh, some I bought myself and others were gifted to me. And this is one of my favorites. I got it at Wakefield Books, actually. Um, it is a hologram. Can you see that? A oh, hologram yeah. of, of the Northern Lights. That's cool. Can you move it around? Uh, which is one of the items on my bucket list to see someday. That is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite reading snack or drink? Snack or drink? Well, um, in the winter, I sit on a recliner in front of the wood stove with a cup of tea. And uh, in summer, I sit outside on the thing. deck with iced coffee. Nice. <laughs> and... Hmm. Uh, would you say that those are your favorite places to read too? Yeah, because yeah. in the winter in front of the wood stove, it's comfortable, it's warm. And in the summer, I like to be outside and, you know, the breeze and the, the warm air and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and what do you love about 
our library or libraries in general? What's not to love? <laughs> What's not to love? I've always marveled at how amazing the public library system is, you know, to be able to take books out for free, not to mention all the other services and programs that you do. Uh, just the other week, I met with you to show me how to use the new app uh, called Libby, incidentally, <laughs> uh, which is taking place of overdrive where I can easily order eBooks from the library system and look for books. You showed me how to look for books in the specific genres that I was interested in. And they have these categories and it's amazing. <laughs> Isn't it great? Yes, I use it be all the time too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have a special memory of a library that you'd like to share with us? I've always been an avid reader and I can remember even, you know, in, in grade school and as a teenager, I would, I come from Pennsylvania and I would, you know, just to go into the public library, you know, in town and get a couple books and take them home. And, you know, I just, I guess I'm a, what they call a bibliophile. I just <laughs> have always loved reading. My mother was an avid reader and my sister and I are too at the, at the, uh, breakfast table or lunch, you know, uh, we would sit there with our cereal and we'd have a book propped up in front of us, you know, and luckily my mother encouraged that. She never yeah. discouraged it uh, because we both, you know, we wanted to sit there and if we didn't have anything to read, we'd grab the cereal box and we'd start reading it. You know, it's just, yeah, it's just the way I am. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you so much for being on follow the reader today. And we'll see you next time with a new reader. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye.